one of my students asked me how to do this effect here. Sent me a picture of his hand. I'm going to drag that into Photoshop. I'm going to unlock the layer. I'm going to do image adjustments, threshold, drag the slider until the hand becomes one solid shape. I'm going to invert the colors by control I on the keyboard. I'm going to do B for brush. Click on the brush settings, put the hardness up to 100%, bring the size down to about 50 pixels, and I'm going to set the opacity to 100, paint over there, and any other little white bits that remain. Next, I'll get the magic wand tool. It's W on the keyboard, click and hold, change it to the magic wand tool. Click on the hand, do Control Shift I to invert selection or select inverse and then hit delete. If your background goes a solid color, make sure the layer is unlocked beforehand. Deselect with Control D. To select a color, I'm going to cheat for the colors and bring in the image that we're trying to emulate here just to make things easier. I'm going to click on the hand and do double click on the empty part of the layer by the hand and do color overlay, tick the box, click on the word, click on the color, sample the first color, hit OK, close that down. Duplicate the layer, which is Control J for Juliet on the keyboard. Get your move tool, which is V on the keyboard, and you're going to want to move your hand so you can rotate it. Move your mouse just beyond the boundary of the hand and spin it around. If you hold shift while you spin, it goes exactly in perfect angles like this. When you're ready, you can hit enter or the tick at the top. Let's choose a different color for this. You can double click on your color overlay from the layer over here and change your color overlay color by clicking on this blue box to the other color. Um, I flip my colors around, that's fine. I'm then gonna delete the layer I don't need anymore. I'm gonna make a new layer, drag this to the bottom, get my paint bucket tool, make sure the top color is set to pure white and fill in the background like that. Go back to your move tool, select both of your hand layers, right click on either of them and do rasterize layer style. This means you can't edit the effects anymore, but you can start to be more creative with these blending modes. Make sure you have the top hand layer selected, click on the word normal and change it to multiply or any of the other effects that you feel you, that you prefer. You're then free to move them around as desired. You can then throw in some text with the text tool. I'm using a font from the internet called Etna. Once you've typed your text, you can move it with the move tool. If the text is too big or too small, you can select the text and click on the text options box over here and adjust the scale and the line height like this so that it fits together a bit more nicely and you're done.